All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Wawa Kakwadash, which Yahweh is the Heavenly Father's true name. Yahweh Shai is in the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, it's his true name. And Rakakwadash is the Holy Spirit. I'm also going to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who rule and teach well in the scriptures. And salutations to all the brothers out there who push his word in all truth and in all sincerity. And I'm just, you know, going to do another um, walk and talk. And, uh, you know, this, everything's just through the spirit right now, impromptu, you know, for the most part. But um, I uh, basically just got back home uh, from the uh, live stream that we have out here in Chicago, the weekly live stream through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. And, uh, you know, I was amongst, you know, you know my, uh, mighty men, you know, all right, you know, godly men, you know, the prophets. And I was just thinking about the work that we're doing, you know, this job. That the Lord has given us, all right? And how this job is the greatest, you know, it's the greatest job known to mankind. We're doing the greatest work ever, all right? And that's something that, you know, hey, brothers, just think about it, okay? Really meditate on it and think about it, you know? You see, the, 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 what we're doing, okay, this work that we're putting in, you know, standing, you know, so stiffly, all right, for the names of Yahweh, Bashim, Shai. Declaring, you know, his word, you know, you know, t telling, you know, uh, our people what's right, what's wrong, condemning the wickedness, you know, uh, exalting righteousness. That's going to give us an everlasting name, a name that's never going to fade away. All right. You see these, you know, uh, uh, renowned, you know, men and women of this world. OK, they're getting their, you know, their praises right now. You know, you have, uh, you know, your uh, Michael Jordans, your LeBron James, Jay Z's, all right, Beyonce's. You know, uh, um, you know Jennifer Lopez. You got a uh, Bad Bunny. You know, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, all right, you got all, you know, all these famous people of this world. All right, you know, I'm speaking about our people. You know, the nation of Israel. All right, you know, they 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 they, they basically got their consolation on this side. Okay. But the thing is, their name isn't going to be remembered in the kingdom. See, we're going to be the real superstars in the kingdom of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. Our name is going to be, you know, uh, uh, is going to be known throughout our entire nation, and it's going to get passed on from generation to generation to generation. Okay, like our forefathers, you know, starting off with Yahweh Shai, all right, to you know King David, King Solomon. You know, Abraham, you know, Isaac, Jacob, so on and so forth. Hey, they, they, these men, all right, they, they left a, uh, um, a legacy, okay? Their names are known. And that's what's going to happen, you know, for us through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, all right? And I want to start off with this scripture here. Now, the main point is actually in uh, verse uh, 6, okay? But I got to start from the top. This is Sirach 15 and 1. He that feareth the Lord will do good. Okay, because if you fear Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, what are you going to do? Keep the commandments of the Lord. And that's what's uh, uh, righteous, okay? That's what's good. All right? You're actually going to uh, uh, perform what's written in the law to the best of your ability. Yes, right now we're not going to be perfect, but, you know, we're going to, uh, you know, uh, we're going to try to, you know, um, you know, uh, uh, stay away from evil. We're going to try to perform what's good, all right? It says, And he that hath the knowledge of the law shall obtain her, and as a mother shall uh, meet him, and receive him as a wife married of a virgin. This is talking about wisdom, okay? With the bread of understanding she shall feed him, and give him the water of wisdom to drink. And he shall uh, be stayed upon her, and shall not be moved, okay? And, and that's right. That's what's happening. We're not being moved through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, okay? This wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that the Lord has given us, we are not being moved, all right? Because look, if this was of man, as the scripture, as the, uh, scripture say in the book of Acts, if this was of man, what we're doing right now, it will come to naught. But since it's of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, it's standing. That's why you have brothers all over the world, all right? And also uh, uh, sisters too. That are waking up to, to their true identity. Alright, they're you know they're they're acknowledging their heritage and they're repenting. 
And then and that's a beautiful thing. Our people are turning away from their uh, wicked ways. All right? That's a beautiful thing. And, and, and right now, a, a, the, the desolate places are being rebuilt. This, this, you know, this house, all right, which is the house of David, which was, you know, destroyed, okay, at, at one point, is now being rebuilt in front of everybody. The Lord said that he was going to, um, in the Psalms, the 50th chapter, and we read it, actually, in the, in the live stream today, we brought that out, how that, um, you know, our house is going to uh, get in order in front of their eyes. You know, we're going to, uh, you know, we're going to be put back in order in front of them. All right, meaning, you know, these elites, our nation is actually coming back together. And how is that? Through the word. And that's in the, uh, the book of Baruch, the fourth chapter. We're being gathered, all right, from all over the world via the Holy Scriptures, via, you know, uh, the Spirit and power, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai. All right? All right? This is a beautiful thing, man. Okay? Because the Lord promised, you know, that he would save his remnant, you know, his remnant. The Lord he said that he would not utterly destroy the house of Jacob. The Lord has has promised to uh you know to save that 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 uh that small small group. Okay, that's returning unto him. Alright. Now I'm gonna um keep breathing. It says um and shall rely upon her and shall not be confounded. She shall exalt him above his neighbors. And in the midst of the congregation, she shall open his mouth. It says, he shall find joy and a crown of gladness and shall cause him to inherit an everlasting name. And see, that's the main thing right there. That's what I, what I wanted to get out. You know, look, through the spirit of power, Yahweh, Shem, Shai, through wisdom, all right, which is the Holy Spirit, or Kodash, okay, we're going to inherit an everlasting name. And that's what's so beautiful. All right, the Lord, as the scriptures say, well, you know what? We'll get, we'll come back to this Sirach 15 because I want to read these last two verses. But in this uh, book, uh, book of Hebrews, the sixth chapter, it says here in Hebrews 6, and um, I'm going to start at 10. Hebrews 6 and 10, it says, For the Most High, Yahweh, is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love. You see, the Most High is not going to forget our works and our labor of love. And look, brothers have been putting in work. Brothers have sacrificed. See, that's the thing. All right? Everybody puts, you know, everybody has a sacrifice. Whether it be on the left or right hand side. You see, these people are sacrificing to the gods of this world, all right? Which is Satan. Okay? But you see, we're, we're sacrificing to whom? Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shai. And we're, we're, we're trying to make our bodies a living sacrifice, all right? We're trying to... Um, you know, turn from our wickedness, okay? So what we're putting, you know, to the altar, what we're putting, you know, to, you know, uh, 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 what we're putting on the table, so to speak, is something righteous. So the Lord can, you know, uh, 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 look at us and accept us, all right? Now, that's why you see brothers going out on the highways and byways. That's why you see brothers, um, you know, making videos. That's why you see brothers, you know, not... You know, taking particular jobs, losing jobs, losing family, losing, you know, so-called friends of this world. All right. You see, we're, um, uh, we're, we're, we're trying to, you know, you know, separate ourselves from this place. So when Yahweh Shah comes back, hey, we can get pardoned, man, you know, for our iniquities. We're trying to separate ourselves, you know, um. From this place You know as the scriptures say You know for I am holy You know uh, 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 Ye shall be holy You know roughly paraphrasing it Alright You know We we gotta be holy like the Lord Alright Have a different conduct A different uh, um, A different way of living Okay And it says uh, Which ye have showed towards his name and that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister. And, and we, we are ministers, all right? All right, to the saints. When we have been ministering. And we still are doing it. Okay? We, we've been, you know, being that servant. 
you know, to, to our, uh, our fellow brethren, okay? See, when you, when you, um, you know, get into this truth, and as you grow, you, you, you become uh, uh, more of a servant, all right? It's like Yahweh Shah, he, he was a, a, a um, basically I'm going to use uh, Yahweh Shah as an example. You know, especially um, this uh, particular uh, uh, event in the scriptures, all right, he, um, you know, during the, um, what they call the Last Supper, all right, he did what? He washed the, 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 the feet of his, you know, uh, disciples. He became what? A, a, a servant. All right. You know, they, and that's how we should be. You know, once we get into this truth, you got to learn how to serve. You got to learn how to uh, uh, be humble. It, says, it even tells you in the scriptures, in the book of Sirach, the third chapter, it says, hey, the greater thou art, the more humble thou shalt be. Okay? Hey, the more you elevate in this, this truth, you got to become more humble. And that's because you have more wisdom, knowledge, or understanding. You have, uh, uh, you have to... Um, you know, teach, you have to be that example. All right? You see? And with us doing all these works, look, the Lord's not going to forget that. And He's going to, um, you know, bless us greatly in the kingdom. And as, uh, you know, I'm going to get this real quick before I go back to that, uh, that uh, Sirach that I had, the 15th chapter. Let me get Romans, the... Uh, the 8th chapter, where's the book of Romans? Here we go, Romans the 8th chapter. It says here, in Romans 8 and 17. I'm going to read 17 and 18. It says, Romans 8 and 17. And if children, then heirs, heirs of the Most High Yahweh, and joint heirs with Yahweh Shai. If so, be that we suffer with Him, that we may also be glorified together. And right now, we're all suffering. We're all going through some type of affliction. You know, certain brothers, they're having, you know, maybe some family issues. All right, maybe their wife left them. You got certain brothers that are overworked, you know, at the job. You got some brothers that can't find jobs. Some brothers that have uh, women. Some brothers that have no women. Everyone's going through something. You know, certain brothers got, you know, physical ailments. Some brothers have no money. Some brothers have money. Because even having money, that, that's, that's a, um, that could be a burden. Okay, because you might have to be that brother that, that has to uh, um, support, you know, those around you, you know? Everything in this place, is, it, pretty much everything in this place is, you know, tainted, so to speak, all right? There, there's always going to be some type of, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? You're going to have some type of um, affliction with it, all right? It doesn't matter what aspect it is, you're going to have an affliction, and that's because we're not in our kingdom. You know, this place is um, not our rest, as the scriptures say. All right? Hey, but look, with us suffering, what are we going to get? We're going to get that glory. All right? Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Shai. Hey, as the scriptures say, before, um, I think it's, uh, what is that? In, um, I think this is how it's uh, wordy. Before, uh, Honor is humility, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, right here, I'll get this. Um, let me see if there's anything else. Look at this one in 15 and 33. This is uh, Proverbs 15 and 33. And it reads, The fear of the Lord, Yahweh is the instruction of wisdom. And before honor is humility. Okay, before you get that glory, before you get, you know, that honor, before you get, you know, um, you know, risen up, you're gonna have to be humiliated. You're gonna have to be, you know, put into a lower state. Okay. You get. You're gonna have to. Uh, you know. You're just gonna have to be at the bottom first. It is what it is, but it's all really to teach us a lesson. Okay. The things that we're going through is ultimately to teach us a lesson, so we can be what those ultimate, you know, judges, those ultimate gods on the earth. Okay. Now going back to this uh, Romans, we're at Romans 8 and 18 now. For I reckon that the suffering of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. And you see the things that we're going through now are, is, is nothing. 
Even Yahweh Shai said this is a, a I think it was Yahweh Shai. Maybe if it wasn't Yahweh Shai, it was uh, the Apostle Paul. He said that this is a, a light affliction. Okay? I know Yahweh said Yahweh Shai said that this is um he said that my um you know, let me get it. I don't want to butcher it. Yoke. Oops. Spelled that wrong. Where is this? Uh here we go. And Matthew's 11 and um you know, I'll start at 28. This is Matthew's 11 and 28. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. It says, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Okay, and if we're following, and this is what Yahweh Shai said, that his yoke is easy, his burden is light. And look, he, he had way more on his plate than us. Think about that. And if we're following Yahweh Shai's footsteps, all right, the things that we're going through, the trials and tribulations that we're, you know, uh, 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 receiving, it, it, it's not really that bad. Yeah, there's times where it does get hard, no doubt about it. You know, there's times where, hey, you, you feel like, you know, th 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 this world is just, you know, it's gotten you beaten down where you can't get up. You know, it happens. But, hey, through the spirit and power, Yahweh Hashim Shai, we get through this, man. And really, it's, it's still lightweight. It's really not that bad. It's really not. We're, as the scripture said, we're getting punished. We're getting punished less than what our iniquities. Uh, uh, we're getting punished less than what we deserve. All right. Let me get that. That's like Ezra's the ninth chapter. So like, I, I'm not a good uh, quoter. Scriptures. It's nine and thirteen, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. This is Ezra nine and thirteen, and after all that. Is come upon us for our evil deeds and for our great trespass, seeing that the Most High Yahweh has punished us less than our iniquities uh, deserve and has given us such deliverance at this. So the main point is, the Lord has punished us less than our iniquities deserve. We should be cut off as a nation, man. You know, we shouldn't even be a. Um, we shouldn't even be a. Uh, uh, you know, in the presence of the Lord, so to speak, man, all right? You know, we, we, we shouldn't be, you know, accepted. You know, but hey, the, the Lord is, you know, great in mercy. Has, you know, uh, much compassion, okay? And you see, you know, hey, that, you know, that's allowed us to, you know, that's allowed us to, you know, uh, uh, you know, get back up on our feet and, 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 and uh, you know, us getting, you know, this glorification. It's all through the spirit and power. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. Now, going back to this Sirach 15, I haven't forgotten about this. I'm going to jump back to this Sirach 15. And um, let's read these last two verses here. This is Sirach uh, 15 and 8. I'm going to start at 7, Salakia. Sirach 15 and. Um, and seven, but foolish men shall not attain unto her, and sinners shall not see her, for she is far from pride, and men that are liars cannot remember her. You see, as the scripture say in Wisdom of Solomon, that wisdom shall not enter into a malicious soul. And, you know, that's what's so, you know, uh, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Salakia, for the lack of words. That's what's so, you know, I get, you know, for humbling is that the Lord has chosen us, okay, to breathe, to be those preachers, to, to be those, you know, uh, uh, prophets, to be the men of the Lord. Because we didn't do anything that was so special to, you know, uh, obtain this truth. For whatever reason, the Lord just picked us and said, I like him. You know, I, I, you know, this is my guy. You know, I love him. The rest of you, I don't like. But I like the, this guy. I like that guy. These are my buddies. You know? That, you know, it, it's a beautiful thing. It's amazing. All right? You see? That's why we, we got to just, you know, um, you know, stay humble. All right, and just, 
and just continue to push his word and do everything to the best of our abilities. All right, hey, we gotta um. Let me see if I can find that. It talks about a uh, oh man, I forgot how it's worded exactly, but you know, whatever whatever you put your hands, to, you know, whatever type of work you put your hands to, it you put forth all your strength. Let me put that in. Let me see if that comes. Let me see if that comes up. I think that's in the book of Ecclesiastes. Salaki, I forgot how it's worded, but pretty much. But you know what? This is good right here, but uh, this is not the exact scripture that I wanted, but uh, through the Spirit, this is still a good one. This is Sirach 43 and 30. When you glorify the Lord, exalt Him as much as you can, for even yet will He far exceed. And when ye exalt Him, put forth all your strength, and be not weary, for ye can never go far enough. You see, look, since we've got, you know, uh, this opportunity to serve the Lord, and we got to just, you know, put all our strength into it. We got to put all our might, all right, to the best of our ability. And yes, you know, we could do more, no doubt about it, all right? We could, it, it, we can never do enough. But we got to try to the best of our ability, all right? So that's why it's important not to be slack, not to be, you know, um, slothful, all right? And it's much more than just making videos. Cause that you know that's something that's got to get you know uh, get pushed now, because you got guys out there that think that just because you know they make X amount of videos that they're men of the Lord, and that and that, that you know may not be true. You know, are you a brother? Because that's a part of the works. That's actually really a key thing. Are you a brother, a true brother? All right. Are you sacrificing, you know, your time for uh, for your brethren? You know, your money? Are you, you know, um, you know, rebuking them when needed? Are you um, uplifting them when needed? Okay. You know, these are just certain, you know, things that I'm naming. You know, there's so much that goes into it. And that's a part of the work. All right. Are you guiding the sheep properly? You know, you got to really think about these things. Got to really sit down and think about it. You know? All right? The well, point being, though, is, look, hey, we got to, you know, keep pushing this word. We got to keep, uh, you know, uh, keep putting in that work so we can, what, get that everlasting name. All right? Let me see if, uh, I think there's another scripture. Let me see if I can find this. I think there's another one in Sirach. Man, I, like I said, this is an impromptu. too. I'm just like, everything's just, you know, coming out through the spirit. But there's, um, I think there's another one that talks about, you know, it's a, maybe a memorial. There's one, in, another one in Sirach that talks about, you know, how um, pretty much, you know, it talks about our name. Here we go. Yep. Let me see if there's anything before that. This is, uh, damn, man. Heavy. We'll get this Sirach 39 real quick. This is Sirach chapter 39. Let me see. Oof, man. When you start, when you start off, uh, start up from uh, at Sirach thirty nine. You know, just pretty much is going into a man of the Lord. All right, but, you know, for time's sake, let's just get straight to the point. This is Sirach thirty nine and nine. Many shall c uh, commend his understanding, and so long as the world endureth, he it shall not be blotted out. His memorial shall not depart away, and his name shall live from generation to generation. Okay, you see, this is a man of the Lord, a man that's been occupied in prophecy, a man that's been having a holy conduct. 
a man that's, you know, standing stiffly for the name of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right? His memorial is never going to depart. Like I said earlier, you got all these, you know, you know, great athletes, musicians, you know, inventors, all right, politicians, so on and so forth, okay, of our people, you know, those that, you know, are of the nation of Israel. Yeah, they're, they're, their names are are uh, highly regarded in this society, but see, in the in the uh, world to come, all right, the world of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, all right, the, which when, when I say that, uh, when I'm saying that wor uh, word world, that's going into the, an age, the time era, okay? You see? See, when we get into the age of uh, 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 of of uh, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, the kingdom of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, their names are never going to be they're not going to be remembered. Our names are going to be remembered. We're going to be those guys. All right? Top dogs, man. Uh, 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 cream of the crop, man. You know? Our names, how it says here, are going to live from generation to generation. They're going to talk about us. And the reason why is because you know, obviously, through first and foremost, through the Spirit and power, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, but through the men of the Lord, all right, the hundred and forty-four thousand, our nation was able to get back up on uh, uh, its feet, okay, to get back in that in that um, that rulership position, all right, okay, through a through the the sacrifice, okay. Through the sacrifice of these men. Because when you look at the men of the Lord, they, they all had some type of righteous sacrifice. And that's what got the nation uh, uh, back, you know, uh, um, get back in good standings with the Lord. And really, when you think about it, it is the scriptures talk about how we're, um, you know, how we're a priest. Okay. We, we, the, the scriptures talk about how we're priests, right? And when you get into like the law, you know, of, you know, of sacrifice, the um, the priest always, you know, offered up a particular sacrifice in order to have uh, the nation of Israel, uh, um, you know, get back in those good terms, man, with the Lord, and that's what's happening now. All right. And those uh, men, they're gonna get um, they're gonna get a, a a great reward for this. I'm gonna read this. And I'm probably gonna end it out. Um, but you know, you, you know, actually, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna keep reading. Sirach 39 and 10. Nation shall show forth his wisdom, and the congregation shall declare his praise. If he die, he shall leave a greater name than a thousand. And if he live, it shall, uh, he shall increase it. And look, what's so beautiful is we're never going to die in the kingdom. So our name is going to get um, exalted more and more. Obviously, through the spirit and power, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, it's an order. It's Yahweh first, then Yahweh Shai. Under Yahweh Shai would be King David. And under King David would be the rest of the 144,000. Okay? So... Hey, we're uh, hey, we're doing a uh, mighty work, brothers. You know, we're doing a mighty work, and never forget that we're doing a mighty, mighty work. And this is why Esau is getting so upset, frustrated, and this is why he's gonna come down with that great wrath. Because this is something that he wishes that he has. All right, not just him, all these nations. They 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 want the blessing. They want the the glory. They want the dominion. And that's something that's not promised to them. It's promised to us. Okay? It's promised to us. And with that being said, you know, we got to uh, make sure that hey, we, we are those, uh, those righteous men that, that's, you know, putting in this work. All right? Now, we're not slack. We're not being, you know, sluggards. Okay? And um, I'm going to end it off with, you know, that scripture. And, uh, you know, hopefully this was edifying and, you know, hey, just keep pushing, Akim. We're almost out of here. 
before you know it, we're going to be in the kingdom. And all our, you know, sorrows, mournings, our pains, our sufferings are going to turn into nothing but joy. Okay, happiness. You know, we're going to finally be at rest. We're not going to have to worry about anything ever again. All right. And with that, you know, hopefully this was edifying. I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to you. How about Shimei Al-Shai? Also, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and salutations to all the brothers out there who push his word in all truth and in all sincerity. Shalom. Wall.